So Jeff, thank you so much for coming over to the channel. This is like one of uh, the special segments of our uh, show. And we're very happy that you're spending a little bit of time of your vacation uh, from Aruba and to talk about watches. But before we talk about watches, how have you been uh, enjoying Aruba so far? It's very nice, beautiful, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot, it's, it's hot. hot. It's hot, it's hot. and uh, you gotta stay out of that sun, you're gonna get burned you know, real quick. Yeah, and that's Aruba for you, it's normally windy. And yep. Right now it's kind of stale and um, Yep, but it's still a good sunny day, it seems. Yep, yep. Yeah, I love your, your the view here. It's a, it's amazing. So Jeff, we have like quite a few watches here. You brought some killer pieces, and before we start with that, what set you off into watch collecting? Well, you know, in years past, I would collect all different kinds of things, from EDC items to sometimes knives. Uh, you know, and then just you kind of progress, and those things fade away. And the next, the next shiniest thing is watches. And years and years ago, we would go on the cruise ships, and I would walk through the watch stores. Yeah. And and, and then we would go to the port, in one of the Caribbean islands, and I would walk through the watch stores. Again. We all kind of do that. And then I'm starting to look <laughs> online, and then I'm posting in groups about I'm joining groups, and I'm posting in groups. Is this who blow a good deal or whatever, right? Because you're fascinated with the. Yeah. The more you learn, the more you kind of. Graduate, so right, you, know, you kind of go up the ladder from G Shock, Seiko. You just keep going, and so then I started collecting. Uh, then watches became the hot item about ten years ago. Wow, hasn't stopped. I'm relatively new collector. Um, well, you know, I'm relatively new because I'm just like what two, three years old in this game. Yeah, it hasn't yeah. stopped, and I just, you know, you try to be as fiscally responsible as possible, right? But this, this, these are not. Uh, you know, they can get crazy. Yeah, they can get crazy, crazy. like really quick. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, what came, what, um, my doorway or sorry, a gateway rather uh, to to the watch collecting uh, thing is the random rob. Random rob has always been like, yeah. oh my goodness, uh, once when, when you start there, when you go into his live um, live shows and then he talks about all of these watches like one after the other, it just like gets to you. I, mean, yeah. I think that's how I I. I Learned about uh, Bobby Legs and Bobby Legs. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, yeah. If you could say um, your user handle and in, in, in YouTube, yeah, yeah. Deech twenty eighty six. I'm always on the in the chats and stuff with the guys. And uh, you know, I think once I found the, the, a lot of the guys there and, and and Tim. Once I found Tim Masso, that was really the that, that was, was there. that was the hook. Yeah, was, I was telling the guys, guys, you don't know too much. I, mean, like, yeah, I, I feel like everybody a, a bad parent if I didn't like, a, you know. I got to meet him in Philadelphia. That's awesome. Last year, it was really nice. You know, and and uh, you know, it's just a big community, right? So you're, you know, once you get to know a lot of the guys, then you're asking about this purchase and that purchase, and then you can kind of, you can kind of uh, narrow down how you want to collect, right? I mean, I know people that. Go after certain models, or you know, mm -hmm. I particularly like, you know, the the, the G Shocks, right, or or limited edition Seiko like this. Right? Yeah, this this one's uh, I, this is the first time I've seen a Marine Master much more like this setup. Is this like uh, what? Is That's what a uh, SBBN zero two nine. So you know, I think 2016, 2018, something seven hundred pieces only. Wow. Yeah, and you know. When I start researching Seikos, I you know there's a million Seikos, right? So I want to find the one that's limited. I like things I personally as a collector, and you know whatever I'm doing, I like things that nobody else has. Oh, look at that! Look at that bezel, bezel. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean that's kind of how I do it. So if I'm gonna, they say every Seiko, every Seiko is such a historic brand, right? It is. And if it's not in the collection, you, you almost. I mean, you could almost argue like you shouldn't be a watch collector, right? You should have you should a Seiko have, in your yeah, collection. Yeah, Seiko. Right? You should have like a G-Shock in your collection at but, least. Right, but then if that, if that, taking that one step further, the tuna is arguably, you know, a very significant part of Seiko's history. So if I'm going to buy a tuna, which I don't, many people know, I don't mm -hmm. prefer the thick watches, right? But if I'm going to buy a tuna because of the lug to lug, it, yeah. it wears fine, right? I have one actually at, at home. I just didn't brought it. Yep. It's like actually like it's way thicker than this one. This was like yeah. Actually, this is a modest size compared to yeah. It's very nice. Other. So and, and it'll do the 
you know, it runs today in kanji and, 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 and you know, 700 pieces, hard to find. You know, eventually you find one. And, and <laughs> We always bash Seiko for, for having limited pieces, but they're like in the thousands. But this is a real one. Pool, the ocean, everything. <laughs> today, right? So I'm, th that's what I was drawn to with this one. And that's why it'll never leave the collection. I'll never sell that. That's awesome. That that's awesome. This is a, this is a great piece. Now tell us, tell us about this. Um, okay, this one, you know, this is this is what you call influenced. Okay, right? In, in, in the, in, <laughs> Who influenced you on that one? Amin. Well, uh, Amin, of course. Uh, he of did course. a video on it on his channel, right? Uh, uh, Amin Reviews. Uh, shout out. Yeah, yeah. Right? Shout out to and, Amin. And I, you know, watched the video, of course, and I was like, oh, that's unique. That's so cool. Oh, let me look it up. Oh, it's pretty reasonable. Oh, they all different designs. Really, do they have any limited ones? No, oh, they don't really, but some others, some of them are hard to find than other ones, right? So I was looking between this one and the green yeah. one. I chose the blue, and I just like it because it's a, a good beater. It's just Duratec, uh, you know, uh, titanium, I think mm -hmm. it is, yeah. really hard coating. And I, want, I want to try that out. Yeah. I've, I've never tried that. I liked it so much. <laughs> oh, it's super nice, though. Yeah, I liked it so titanium. much that I bought two others. Wow. There we are. This one is really more limited and tough to find. And this is more like the, the sand dune um, colorway. There we are. Look at these. Look at these really nice pieces right there. Right. So I've those, seen some of these like in some of the stores here, but I've yeah, never uh, yeah. checked them out. But they have yeah. a citizen uh, AD right in this building, right. and they have this watch. And they have uh, they I have mean, the green. They have the green. They don't have the blue. They have the green. I'm surprised they don't have the blue. Blue. Yeah, and the, the Echo, Echo Drives, I have a, a, a few Echo Drives in my collection, and, and they've been still, like, they're still beating up until today, and that's, like, what, 12 years uh, later, and yeah. it still, you know, still works. If, if you watch that video, you know, there's a lot of uh, stuff that he talks about that's very important, right? And that's what kind of just got me hooked on it. I mean, I like the, even the even the buckle, it's a citizen on it, you know? Yeah, and it's a, it's a, a look at this buckle from Seiko. It doesn't say Seiko on it. No, it no. says Seiko on there. And you've seen that buckle and everywhere else, but yeah. this is like specifically designed by Citizen for this one. It seems like it, like this is a an angular buckle that I've never seen in other. Uh, this is uh, the guild model here, and then that one is like the sand color that I really yeah. like. I, I I'm going to replace this one with this one, and just have the two, the these two, the blue. This, this one looks like that. that one's nice too, though. Yeah, I mean. Guild is all, there's always like, uh, as you call it, uh, an allure to, to guild uh, uh, dials. Any any watch with a guild dial, there's a, there's a sense of luxury to it, but also at the same time, it's not so uber luxury that you can't wear it anywhere else. I mean, that, that's also the, the appeal of uh, two-tone watches, and the, the guild is like one of those, almost there, if you're, if you're not into like guild, uh, uh, two tone watches, maybe a guilt dial or a guilt watch could be the one for you because it's it, the the thing about that is like when you look at it at a certain light, it looks like the whole thing is white or light. But you can build a sand castle with that. You could go in the ocean. You could go to work for a whole day with that. And I'm never going to scratch it. It's never. And that's amazing about these cases, right? It's it's, it, it's it's really when you talk about value, right? For for the price, I mean, three hundred bucks, four hundred bucks. Yeah. It's remarkable, right? When you when you think about it compared to, you know, some of the junk that you see, like I was saying in the microgram. Like, okay, you now know, now you're influencing. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I brought three for a reason. Okay, I wanted to show you all three of them, and I want you to have this one. Oh wow, really? This one here. Oh my! This is my latest, so this has to stay. But you can have the guilt. Wow. Okay. Because Sorry. this replaces this, you can see, right? I mean, totally. You don't need. I don't need. Not that oh, I, man, yeah. I want this you to sell. <laughs> this is coming like, out. This is an awesome gift. Coming out. Uh, incidentally, I think you baited me to like talking about the guild watch. So now I, I it's possible. surgically like made like a mini review of the guild. Uh, so, oh, this and is you can amazing. review that one. I'll send you the extension and the the box. And oh, I mean, like this is amazing. I mean, like I'm going to review all of the watch that that you, you have and as much as possible. I also brought some of my watches so we can compare yeah. because like. We were talking about like these budget watches, and there's some in the in the the channel that really likes these um, modding uh, 
Uh, yes, yes. I, and I, we're I, gonna talk about that. But this is this is like this is amazing. Thank you, Jeff. This is like yeah. this is really cool. I'm gonna wear that now. You're like, uh, sorry for the for the you take for the off. OG stuff. Sorry. I mean, like, <laughs> I know you guys. Um, you, many of our viewers are more more on the budget side and you know, more on the. I can see that. Uh, you know, I'm the, right there with them. Really, I mean, this, these two are perfect awesome. example. I mean, the, the, let's face it. The watch market is not where it used to be, right? Three, five years ago, right? Yeah. Even two years ago. So finding deals on these types of watches are definitely out there. These are not, you know, $500 pieces. Yeah, but, but the thing is about, like, Citizen, I think there's still a stigma about um, Citizen and how they're... they're um, being I think viewed, it looks great you know? on you. But everything, like, everything like, that Citizen makes, I've experienced them for quite a while, and they're very durable, and at the same time, they're, like, uh, very yeah. wearable in many, many uh, different sets. Now that I'm going to, like, uh, can you pass the, the yeah. yeah. If you need this. You're, sh you're shooting, like, back and forth? If you need this for that, like, I don't want to. Yes, it. yes. I mean, you don't to... want to scratch that, yeah. This is my latest and greatest. This is what I like to call it, latest right. and greatest. Yes. Can, can you bring out my, my... So you, you don't, you're not shooting, like, one long thing, right? No, I'm I'm removing and then judging which angle works best. Ah, okay, okay, that's good. Just don't don't when you shoot, just keep it there, right? Okay. Don't don't move. Pause for a moment. Do do you see me here? No. Okay, that's you good. See me? Okay. okay, give me the yeah. So <laughs> let me let me show Jeff what, what I brought. Oh, I like that case. That. Yeah, this is from you know from Mirage. You know, I brought some of the. This I wanted to to see how it's compared with, with this. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna. That's your right. modded one. Yeah, that's that, that's the modern one that I have. But you could already see the difference in, in, in the IP core, mm -hmm. and this is what we could get from uh, SKX mods. So yeah, that's an unsponsored. Um, I almost <laughs> bought the rose gold. <laughs> oh yeah, the sponsor. I almost bought the rose gold, but I knew the gold was coming out. Yeah, that's this why. is not even a 40th anniversary piece. It's just you know I knew the gold was coming out, so that's why I bought the gold. Okay, I like the gold better. Okay, so. I do love the roll. Can you start? Uh, you start rolling? So you start shooting? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Did you start? Or is yeah. this shooting? It was already, it was going. Okay. So I'm just going to cut that. So Jeff, tell us about this um, this piece. Well, I knew when they came out with the uh, full metal mm -hmm. that I wanted one. Then the choice becomes which one to get. Right? They have the black, silver. They had the rose gold at the time. It's very difficult to uh, um, read some of the other ones. Then the yellow gold came out, and I was hooked. I said, "This is it. that's it. That's the one to get." You know, um, it's just so well done to me. I mean, we all know it's like you know, it's not it's not real gold, but it's a cool watch to wear around. You know, and I I just love it. Yeah, and uh, I don't have a gold piece, and this is as far as I'm going right now. You know. And there's something about G-Shock and how they make their their gold ion plating. You know yeah. that there's a, a there's a deepness to their to their luster if you if you look at it. And like look, and this is one that I modded like a, a while back. You can clearly see the difference in the quality of the the bracelet right there. Yeah, you can see that there's much a much more refined and much more defined edges here compared yeah. to this one. This is like pretty uh, pretty shallow if you if you ask me. This. This watch in the sunlight, these indices pop and change different color. Yeah. I have pictures of it. It's really crazy. And that's actually the difference there. You can see that the indices are like straight up and they have like some graining to it. Yeah. This one. This is a little bit more angular. Mm -hmm. And the thing about this is this is the, the GM uh, models and the regular uh, GA 2100s, they don't have the, these kinds of indices okay. and, and, and the finish on the, on the dial. And this one has like a little bit more of a metallic finish on the bottom. But it doesn't compare to the quality. If you could you could see that the definitions of these, the, the, the corners are you could see that that's an actual corner and this one is softer. You can see on this. I'm gonna you uh, I'm gonna do some some macro shots of these there if we, we still have time. Sure. But you can clearly see here the difference in quality. And and of course the screw back. Yeah, and that's something that you the adjustability of the bracelet. Yeah, that's you're not gonna be able to to, to see. Here. Actually, the bracelet too is fairly different, you know. 
Yeah, it's very there's, nice. There's a there's a heft to it compared to to this. You could actually feel that. You can see like okay, now that's pretty thin. You know, yeah. that's pretty thin. This one and there's a there's a definite heft to. This is still cool. Though. Yeah, I, I I just couldn't wait. You it's know, still, yeah, it's still still legible. At least it's a one of a kind. Yeah. It's, it's, and the, the the engraving company kind of messed it up. It's not really centered or the engraving on the. Oh yeah. The, yeah. You, know, you could yeah. clearly see that, but that's okay. You know what? I, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna resell this anyway. So might as yeah, well like yeah, bought yeah, that. Yeah. This is amazing. And now, we 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 have to like look at it and, and how other modding um, uh, companies are doing it. Right. You can see just the bezel is thicker here. Yeah. This there. is a, that's what you're Even losing. The thickness here. of the bezel. And this is so that's a no go for me. No, no. <laughs> right. I you can the, see there. I love the thinness. Yeah. Totally different. Totally different. And yeah, not to mention the, the, the fake crown. And like that's also some some right. some people are put off by that. But then again, it doesn't. It's complain. not really that one's better than the other. It's what you prefer, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a difference. This yeah. is not. It's not a. You know, I like to. As much as social media and everything influences people, right? Right. In in, in collecting anything, right? Uh, this is not a contest, right? We're not. We're not in a contest with all these people online and all this. Crap, right? It's just buy what you like. Right? Yes, it's really the general theme, right? I agree. You I know, agree. And, and 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 that can, you know, you can go down this roll rabbit hole of really you know, being careful, you know, and being not too careful, you know. Yeah. Whether it's financially or whatever, you know, you gotta. That's why I kind of like to limit it. I try to limit it as much as I can, and I sold a bunch of pieces because of that. I felt like the collection was, yeah, getting you know, out of hand. A little bit that. out of control, <laughs> right? Once it gets once once it gets out of control, then the you know, just like, like Jesus, you know, I have so much money from here. This could be used for X, Y, Z. Exactly. So let's talk about that other limited saber that you have there. Yeah. So this is uh, you know from the Zimbi line, uh, you know released I think twenty sixteen again. Wow, this is in really good condition. Yeah, it's it was remarkable when I bought it. There, there's um, sixteen or fourteen, I forget Zimbi models. In the, yeah. They're released in Thailand only. This is known as Zimbi number one. So this is limited edition 1299. And then it's numbered on the back what number yeah. it is. Yeah. And, 719. Uh, yeah, 719, right? 719. Yeah. And uh, you know, I just like this one the, be the best, the gray turtle, they call it. I love the turtles. And so I researched it and I you know I, I found it. And you know, again, I'm kind of I kind of gravitate towards Stuff that not a lot of people have. Yeah, and this one has like limited edition on the dial itself. I don't oh see, yeah, I don't see so that. that orange too. Yeah, and I don't see and that, that orange often. hand is it's nice too. Really. Yeah, the combination of like gray and orange is like really stunning. It's just the hands itself. Let's move it to the show. So. Is it still um, showing? It's good. Okay. Yeah, the orange second hand. Also on the rehot, if you notice, there's orange on the rehot as well. Oh yeah. See the orange, at, you know, the forty at the, at the at the ten minute intervals. Yes. You know the candy bar on top. Yes, the the, the candy bar. Not everybody likes that, but I like it because I can't see very well. <laughs> Well, it has its own appeal. You yeah, know? yeah. Uh, like what you said earlier, it's not about what's right or wrong. It's about about yeah, it's about yeah. more about preferences. Yeah. And Seiko's been like really hitting it like really cool with with their designs lately. It's just that the, the pricing is a little bit like um, you know that's that's what's putting off some not putting off but like that's part of the criticism of many people because now like they're trying to you know upsell their their prospects yeah. line. I would agree. As a, as a collector, you know, uh, G-Shock and Seiko, I think many models that you're after can be found in the past, right? That are, you know, that are unique and not a lot of people have them. I mean, granted, that's not what everybody wants. It's just what I want, right? Right. So this is a perfect example as we you know, go down this. Okay. This so, so Deech is like showing off his like uh, <laughs> iconic big watches. It seems that in the community you're known for, for having these big watches. Well, I like uh, this is a bigger watch, right? For sure. Let me see if my 
my lady pirate wrists could, could like survive. again. I, I just like the color scheme. Water. That's why you know I searched it, searched it, and uh, look at that. Oh, that's wow, the, the, the textures. Yeah, it's really called awesome. the Br British Bonsai Forest. Wow. The the texture. Yeah, it's 2018, I think. Maharishi. Maharishi. This is this is a London clothing brand. <laughs> oh my god! Look how big that is. Yeah, it's huge. No, 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 no. Actually, it's not the. Look how small my wrist is. That's <laughs> yeah. that's the that's 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 a better way of putting it. So I, you still have the like the, all of the the adjustment holes to yeah. to, to fit that. I can pull it off. Yeah, I, I think you know, so. I can pull it off. I mean, you, you know that you know that uh, uh, G Shock does collabs, right? They've yes. been doing collabs for a million years, right? Uh, and this is one of those times that they collabed with, you know. Uh, it's like an eco-friendly uh, clothing company in, in London, in the center of London. Yeah, that's the barometer right there. You see the temperature also. There's, the, there's so many sensors about these. Yeah. This is a 1000. This isn't a 2000 like this one. This is a 1000. And a 2000, yeah. GWG 1000. Discontinued, of course, right? So when I find it, you got to search. Yeah, you're going to have to, yeah, yeah, have to look for it now. Right? I think I found, I bought that one off a website in, in Japan. This is awesome, and it, it's in this pristine condition also. Yeah, I, I, I tip, as a collector, I typically buy on condition. So if if the description says there's marks or whatever, I'm not really even interested in that piece. You know, I'll just wait until I find the one I want. Yeah, you know? that's awesome. Well, that's and I like the I like the color scheme too because like that orange, I have all of the oranges there, that they pop really, really yeah. nice. It goes well with this one. Oh yeah, definitely. It's a nice one-two punch. And the thing is, like, look, look at that camo yeah. print. It's called it's Brit very easy, very simple. British Bonsai Forest, it's called. British Bonsai Forest. Ah, it has the Maharat, Maharishi. Uh, There's the logo on there. there. Yeah. It's awesome. It's a really good collaboration. It's sharp. Yeah. It's sharp. Oh, there you go. It's not something I'm wearing I'm mowing the lawn, but I like it. Yeah. Right? And so here's the new Ranger Man. Yeah, the, we. I think we we mentioned this in, in one of the uh, cats yeah, guys. Cat. Uh, there we go. Uh, like again, this is not a real cat, but this is a very awesome cat that's behind an awesome timepiece. Yeah. So that one is the Japan model with the carbon fiber strap or whatever. You know, they have two models. That yes. That one. And uh, you know the word. Uh, you know, whenever it says Japan or whatever. Something that's lim more limited, I, I want it. Yeah, it says carbon fiber on it, but you don't, you barely see any carbon fiber. It's probably like inside, right? Right. Yeah, the, the carbon fiber's like inside, so that it's you just can, to, you know to reinforce the it, the strap. It's my first Range Man, so I I, I like I like that color scheme. So that's kind of why I bought it. I like the Range Man line. I've been looking at the uh, what do they call those? Uh, the Frog Man. Frog Man, yeah. But I haven't I haven't uh, bought one yet. Let's try the Range Man ones. On my hands, take advantage of all you know the opportunity. We're pirates after all. Absolutely, get some richer hands now. Okay, this one I could like pull off a little bit better than the. Wait, you put this master. one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but what's cool? But what I could see already from your collection is that you really like some really contrasting popping colors on your yeah. collection. That's something yeah. that. Uh, yeah. Except for this one, and of course we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. But. This is also uh, something that, yeah, most people don't know. But Aruba, we don't get like the signals for multi band, oh. so that's something that we, we cannot receive here for some reason. I don't know. We're maybe we're too far, too remote. Yeah. But the other sensors here, were, of course, like onboard sensors, this will work. And yeah, if you try and be careful with that, the ring keeper right there. And again, this is like the limited edition version with the carbon fiber. I talked about it. I, I know I talked about this in one of the one of my yeah. videos. But this is uh, good to, to see it like I mean, yeah. Kind of using those words, limited edition, scarcely, right? Like, how limited is this? Oh, okay, they don't make it anymore, but you can find it. Yes. Right. The, and the reason for the Toyota Land Cruiser is, you know, it's a pretty big collab with Toyota, right? Yeah, and this is not it's, the first time that they've done it. No, it sponsors their race thing. There's another model of that, yes. I think. And, and look at this. The, guys, this is something that you should uh, be, you know, aware of, like of G-Shock. Like, look at these. The, these are 
unique and distinct designs that help not just with the comfort of the, the watch, but also with the shock resistance. If you compare the 1000 to the 2000, yeah, there we look go. at the thickness. Wow. So you see how I'm drawn to the newer model? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's night and day wearing experience. Exactly. Totally different. You can see the thickness. Like, and I'm a, Toyota, I'm a Toyota owner. My FJ Cruiser has 245,000 oh, well, miles on it. This makes sense. Honestly. So this was a watch I had to have. I'll never sell. Well, next so time, I love Toyota. Next time we'll review your Toyota with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> when, we, when we go to the United States, we'll visit yeah. you guys. And then, you know, Absolutely. We'll review your Toyota also. And this one's worn. You can see, like this yeah, one's worn. Yeah, I wear it. You you wear your pieces again. For for collectors out there, don't be afraid to wear your pieces. Of course, you need to be it's careful. It's a G-Shock. You, you know, I, I also think about things like this. Is it ever going to leave the collection? Probably not. So if I sell it, I take a small hit, whatever, uh, for the marks on it or whatever. But I'd rather wear it and enjoy it. You know, yeah, exactly. And this one could actually like add to the design, to the, to the appearance of the watch, because like as is. You can see like the, the forged carbon fiber case. You can see all of the the, the designs like like it's like splashed on paint. Yeah, right? it's, it's really for it's supposed to be mud, I think. Yeah, because it's, 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 race, I think it's the, the R race, race that they they they, they, they um, yeah. made this for. But also like it, it wears it, it's supposed to look rugged. So even if you you scratch it, even if you you put some actual mud on it, well, it can survive it. And that's a the cool thing about it. You know, I sent you a picture of the other one I had, the gray, the, the, the desert sand, the 2000. Yeah, we could put it up it. in a, we could, we could put it up. I'll be able to put it up. I didn't bring it, but, you know, arguably yeah, that's, that's the most desired one, in my opinion, the, the desert sand one. Uh, you know, when it comes to the 2000s, you know. So staying with G-Shock. Okay, no, so we'll get, we'll get some mechanicals yeah. later. Yeah. You know, this is what I was saying in the past, how... I look for models in the past that that I like. So we we'll go on that G-Shock database website, right? Then I start searching. Shock base. Shock base. <laughs> and I start searching, and I like look at the Gravity Master. I'm like, wow, those are cool. Well, guess what color my G-Shock is? Army green. Army green. So I'm drawn to green, so I love green, right? So I said, I want to get a Gravity Master. Search YouTube, Gravity Master. Find this guy that did a video on this exact watch. You probably know who he is. The, 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 he's he got a good channel. Uh, and I said, that's the one that's, it, it's a good value. Oh, watch David, was it? No, no it was, uh, I'll send you the link. Yeah. How I, how I was, we'll pop it up here. how I was influenced to buy that one from this particular YouTuber. Okay. So then I said, that's the one. This is really cool. It has like the backward, I mean, the video explains it all. Yeah. It's just awesome. And I think about with going back to Shockbase, oh, not non-sponsored um, plug here. Shockbase is a really good resource. I mean, you were saying that you were looking for like green G shocks. You could literally go to Shockbase and li literally um, pull up the color of G shock that you want, yep. and they they have that also yep. categorized in a way that you could like see all of the greens, yep. types of greens, and you could even see down to the model number that you want. Yeah, that the that G shock uh, database website is how I stumbled on the Yeah, as so I typed in uh, limited edition, right? I, you know, I want the limited edition, right? And they used my 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 uh, videos too at some point. That's also another thing. Oh, really? That. Yeah. <laughs> they used one of my videos on I think it's the TVA or the the, the other ones, and they used it as a a sort of a, a placer for for their page, and, and it's nice. And the thing is, like again, it's a it's a valuable resource when you're you're researching your your G shots. And there's, because there's, you you need that because there's so many G shots available out there. You you can literally go crazy with G Shock, right? And 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 spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, if I'm going to spend, you know, I'd rather limit to some select pieces and be a little bit more um, selective on which ones I'm buying, yeah. so that they can just stay in the collection. Like I love this piece. This is one of you know, it's just a G Shock. I mean, so uh, you know, going down this path of limited, right? I love the squares, and then you can. Uh, You'll see my square collection. It's on. It's online. The, the G-Shock Square Group that I used to have. Then I, I blew up the collection. Many people call it blowing up the collection. I mm -hmm. blew up the squares because you know around my office there's just so many watches. I started getting out of control. So uh, the reason we do things is for a bunch of different things, right? I for my 
purpose why I blew up the square collection was I had a, a tenant move out in one of my apartments. And I walked in there after 10 years and went, this isn't going to fly anymore. So you have to spend a bunch of money to, to do that, right? Uh, so I said, let's get some money going to, 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 uh, to fund the rehab. The squares were the ones that ended up on the chopping block. So that's the TVA, the TVB, the OG, Titanium, mm -hmm. a few other squares, right? I kept the U. Yeah. The got U. the ball moving with the, mm -hmm. you know, got the ball moving financially, right? And put in some of my own money. And anytime I'm not touching my bank account and I'm funding it through watches, to me, I'm just moving, shifting money yes. around for what I want to say. These are assets in, in a way. In right? a way, right? So then it, uh, the, the box of eight kept going down, down, down to the two. Well, three, actually. One, uh, <laughs> This one. And the and the the U with the bull bars on it, the U that I have, the, the five thousand U. So this was one that I just couldn't let go of. This was one that I searched for for probably eighteen months, uh, uh, and the prices never came down. They were, you know, they're very high on this. This one, uh, yeah, it's still very uh, high it, right it, now. It's the thirty fifth. It's not like the other gold one. Yes. This is this is the like the OG thirty fifth, right? Yeah. The OG gold. Uh, this I'm drawn towards squares that have positive displays, mm -hmm. and that's why I mentioned to yeah, you. Yeah, the, the other ones are negative. That's right. The other the other one like this is negative. The the, the production model. This is the 35th that is positive display. That's the difference, right, between the two. I had the negative display one, sold it. We can't read. I couldn't. Uh, you know, I, I liked it, but I, I never never really wore it. I thought this would take the place of that, so I sold that to help fund this. When I found the right this one, this is in really good locations. Yes, it, it, I, I can. I'm, I can. I mean, this sounds crazy, right? But I can go out on a limb and say, and I'll send you pictures of this. When I got that watch in from Japan, it was new old stock, as as a hundred percent complete as you will ever see. The experience was like nothing else, and it sounds crazy, right? I know, like it's not like you know, big day where you're getting yeah. a Rolex or whatever. But to me, after a year and a half of searching. To get that the way I did, and to open it with the packaging still mm -hmm. on it, completely dead, and to consult some of my friends on how to charge it correctly, whatever, right? And to see it come alive after a couple of days. You mean, yeah, because it's untouched. Untouched, yes. complete, one hundred percent new old stock, never That's worn, awesome. never even, never even taken out of the box. And I'll send you pictures in yeah. regards to that because I document the whole thing. Yeah, I want to show that. Yeah, I never wear it. It never leaves the watch box until today. Which year? Wow. Yeah. Okay, so. We're part of the uh, beach history here. <laughs> yeah. So this is also uh, look. Um, I, I want to compare to the to the other uh, gold Casio. Right yeah, now. sure. And here's also the difference here. You can see like there the, the difference in the in the color tone, right? And also there the finish. Good. And the finish. This is a brush with yeah. some some polish accents. This is a full polished bracelet. Yeah. This. This could this, really pass off as gold if you, yeah, if you discontinued, of course, limited, of course, production model. Production model. Yeah, not a third, not a 40th anniversary piece, nothing. No. Just bring it in production. Go buy this it online. Special. Tomorrow. This is special. This is this to is me. That was, really, really special. That's the square. This is the square. Yeah, to me. To me. Yeah. Okay. I that's like to think of it as the one that's never going to leave, right? Because yeah. I mean, just this and this is a killer one-two combo to me. Yeah. It's it's interesting to I see, see the see differences that, yeah. in color tones, and one of my friends brought that up to me. In the past, I'm interested to see the color tones in the light. This is very, very cool. It's yeah. an honor to to, like, to, to see this and, like, it's, it's come cool. out. And, like, right? So now, going from uh, you know G Shock and Castillo, uh, then you end up in the Grand Seiko world. Yes, so this is also my first experience of a Grand Seiko, right? So this is a U.S. production release only. 2,000 pieces. This is their high accuracy quartz. Right here. Look right. at that. This is one of the only times you were able to see a high accuracy. So it comes with the bracelet, which I had back at home. I went out and got a deluxe strap. I wanted to tone it down a bit. Right? And I got the Grand Seiko OEM buckle off of Bai. Wow. Okay. So you, you I, went all I, out. I modeled this. this. <laughs> you modeled Yeah, this is not a very... Very luxurious mod, if you, if you ask. Good strap. I mean, straps, whatever. You know? Okay. Beach. Here is a Rolex Submariner. And here, oh, incidentally, too. Yeah, very nice. You could clearly see the difference in the finishing right now. 
and look at that dial. That dial is simply stunning. I can get why people really gravitate towards uh, Grand Seiko. The nickname for that one's the Sea of Clouds. Sea of Clouds. Because it's, if you look at it in the light, it's, it has like a cloud-like. Yeah, like it. I'm gonna do some macro shots of this for sure. But I can now really say that Rolex, beside a Grand Seiko, looks really like a micro brand to watch. If you ask me, the finishing is does not compare. You know, it, it is, it's a difference. I mean, I know you also have your own Rolex, but again, this kind of finishing is on a level that I can I can see why they uh, they. You could spend like thousands on, on a grand sale, but they could justify that name. The only thing that like most people are uh, are hesitant about Grand Seiko is the name Seiko itself. But uh, to me, I think that shouldn't be a, an issue at all. And look at how like the the, the angles on in this case. If you look at it in the light, in the sunlight, if you had the direct sunlight, you could really see the changes. So I got that as my first one, the quartz. So then I had this idea of the trifecta. Mm -hmm. What's Grand Seiko most famous for? Oh, spring drive. Spring drive, high beat, mm -hmm. and quartz. And quartz. So I started at the opposite end of the spectrum. Quartz first. I got the quartz first. Then I found this one. This is the spring drive. I wanted a spring drive, but I didn't want a GMT. Oh, okay. Look at this, Josh. Look at this. Is the first time that you're going to see in person a spring drive. Look at how smooth that sweeping is. Compare it next to the Rolex. Look at the two second hands. Which one's better? There's you no, can see my. No, there's no tick. There's no stop. Both of them are smooth. It's like Both of them are smooth, but you can clearly see that there's a difference between the two. Here, it has like some subtle clicks. Oh, you're here. You can, you can see. Oh, that's it is just more. So you can see that's a real ticking hand. Here, there's still a little bit of like you know, but here's completely smooth. That's amazing. And look, this is a, you still have a battery? Okay, and look at this. That's amazing. So that's a SPGA 469. Automatic. Yeah, this yeah. is a spring drive uh, automatic. Well, you could yeah. say it's an automatic. Yeah, it is. Let me just try and feel the line. Oh yeah. There's still like a, a greediness to it. Yeah, 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 One careful, percent. don't overwind it, sorry. Of course. <laughs> Power's maxed out there. Power's maxed out, yeah. One percent. <laughs> Okay, so now we're here on the ceramic. So tell us about your journey with the ceramic. Well, okay, so Rolex started for me at my 50th birthday three years ago, August. I knew I wanted a Rolex watch. I didn't know which one. I started looking at the catalog, looking online. I wanted the Datejust 41. I decided on the Datejust 41. Fluted bezel jubilee. I have no uh, authorized dealer relationship. So, found a great market dealer in one of the online Facebook groups, made a connection, and then asked him if he could locate this particular piece that I was looking for for my birthday. This was eight months prior to my birthday. So he said, yeah, it's an allocation only piece, it's tricky to get. So, I can find it for you. This is the price X Y Z whatever it was back then. I think it was I think it was ten thousand. So I said, well, here's the deal. Uh, I'm gonna start sending you money in good faith, and then you send me the watch once paid for. It. Well, I had eight months to do it, so it seemed like a decent idea. So that's what I did. The guy was in the groups, heavily vetted, heavily trusted, and about six and a half months into the journey, he sent me a picture. I got it. Uh -huh. And, you know, these guys, they find them for you. They're like the gray market, right? So he'll, he'll get it. And he got it. And then two days before my birthday, it showed up at my door. And I brought it on my 50th birthday vacation with me and, and brought it there. And, and then years later, I I traded it. <laughs> no, you <laughs> traded it. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it was a little too much flash for me. I traded it, right? And then, and then I ended up uh, being on vacation with my family up in New Hampshire. And I... I uh, developed a relationship with an authorized dealer. Because I knew from the beginning that, you know, the retail price and the gray market prices were different. So I wanted to I wanted to be a part of the retail price. 
group. Yeah, I, I don't want to pay more than I'm supposed to. Yeah, it aggravated me a little. That's bit. that's that's the game. It's a game, right? But it aggravated me a little bit. But I didn't care because it was my first relax and whatever, right? Once you get it, you get more into the hobby, you get deeper. Mm -hmm. You realize you need a relationship if you want to be in shin rollers, yeah. right? So I uh, developed this relationship with this uh, person, and uh, she was constantly texting me all the time, offered me this, offered me that. We have a very good relationship, and. Uh, I brought other uh, watch friends to her, and I. Told oh, that's her, a big plus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I told her about my dream three, my my three that I really want, right? And uh, this was the this one, the polar, and the white dial Daytona, which is the new one now. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I thought I was going to get the call for the polar first. It took one year uh, of waiting. All right. And then this showed this. I got the text saying, here you go. We're ready to go. So before I had that, I had traded the Datejust um, in another watch uh, for uh, and some cash with Watchbox for a uh, Yachtmaster. Mm -hmm. 40, oh. The Yachtmaster 40 Rhodium. The Rhodium. Which I had. And then I loved that. And I had a friend that loved it. And... Uh, not planned or anything, like a month before I got the call for this, I, my family was away and I had a watch event at my house. <laughs> and he was interested in the piece, the Yacht Master. He, oh, said, well, he said, I'll give you XYZ for it. It works out. I, see, then he, he, I said, okay, I'll take it. I'll sell it because I'm going to get the call eventually for that. Right? The, the funds are going to come yeah, from Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. Like, yeah back, come back, back to that whole moving money around thing, right? This is kind of what is happening, right? I got very fortunate to... Move that piece to my friend. We both were happy with the deal. And, and two weeks after that, you know, three weeks after that, she called me for this. I was like, Yahtzee. <laughs> right? and then, uh, take this. And then, then, there. Then, yep, there you that's go. It. And then, then now you, you end up with a piece that you actually And then I get it. one of the three that's on the list. That's right? So I'm all excited, right? Everything was fine. You know? So how do you think, how far are you now with the second, with the next one on the list? It, she, I was told uh, it will be 2023. All right. So it's still for this the year. For the Polar. So right. probably late in the year because this one was late in the year December, correct? Almost New Year's before this one came. So uh, I anticipate the text or the call, but she said they don't get a lot of them. Hmm. Okay. They, don't, they don't get a lot of them, and that's kind of a common thread. Though uh, I was surprised to get the call for this before the polar, but I was told from others. Yeah, that, it, it is like I was told from others that the polar is harder to get. It is harder to get. Yeah, that's what they say. I don't really know. I'm just happy that I got that one. One thing I noticed between these two is like mine had like a slightly narrower bracelet. Well, this is a forty-one. Yeah. Oh, this, this is yeah. This is the forty-one. Mine's the uh, that's, a, that's, that's a probably 40, a different forty. Yeah. 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 Because I, I I originally think it's just the lugs. That's a, yeah. So this definitely has narrower lugs. This should have been my choice from the the get go with the the old style, the Kermit. Mm -hmm. Right. This is the new one, the Kermit, yeah, yeah. which they since even changed again the 50th i think they changed it again back to the old the, the bezel color is a little different people are saying oh, oh really on the newer most oh. models yeah, this is a, so a that's even beauty. more it's more of a forest green right I mean, so it's even more uh, to me i'm glad i got it because that's really the one that i wanted i didn't want the old color yeah some the old color is like kind of too vibrant uh, it's, it's very green some, some people green. prefer that i prefer the muted one yeah the muted ones. yeah i can see from the rest of your collection right. so if i had gotten the polar and not this you wouldn't be able to get that anymore yeah that, that's true as far that's as true. i know i mean i might be wrong but, uh, I, awesome. I, I i typically only pay attention to the prices of things that are on my list that i you know what i mean because i'm so busy with other stuff you know all right cool. as much as i love the hobby so much time to yeah, can all, yeah, you have to wear them. I mean, like if you you don't have the time to wear them, I mean, like yeah. it won't be it, it won't make sense. This is a this is a nice one. I love this one. I love this watch. That's really really nice. Yeah, and the the the, the class is different also. It seems. Yeah, yeah. This is the glide lock. And, yeah. So let's see. Like you open this up. Yeah. And then mm. this right here. See. Yeah. So it's. I don't know what it says ten or eight millimeters of adjustability. Look at the look at this. Yeah, I had that. So you can size it's very, it. Yeah, but that's very small. My mine, mine seems to be like short. No, yours is I think what's called the easy link. Like, it's just the one click. Yeah. So you can open it or close it like real easy. You know. 
This is called the glide lock on the new one. Yeah, it's really glad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like it because it's good when you're. Yeah, well, I have smaller wrists. So, so you don't have to worry about that. Don't barely worry about that. Oh, that's amazing, Jeff. I mean, that's about that's about it, right? Did, that's did it. You miss anything? Yeah, that's the collection. That's, I mean, that's, the collection. That, that, that's that's most of the collection. I have some other pieces I left at home. I have a, a zenith. You brought the killer ones here, and that's a. Yeah, I have a nice zenith which I love. And we really appreciate. It's in the photos that. of. Uh, it, it'll be in the photos. I'll yeah. say I have an Omega, an old Omega, twenty seven. Yeah, I have old. a. I have an old Omega too. Yeah, two two. Five four five five oh. <laughs> if you could like if you could remember all no, of those serial numbers, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. No, I just no, call no. it my, my Mark II. That's it. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. Mark II. Yeah, that, one too. Uh, that was like a that, that, that was a cool story there. And uh, another segue also because you still have one more cool story for us uh, to talk about because um, my my that Omega that I had right there, uh, I went to Curacao and uh, oh, yeah. for my for my passport and all that. And I was in one of the pawn shops, and I saw it there. It said, "Hey, what's this doing in in the sea of um, Michael Kors and, and Guess Watches? They have this uh, pawn shop with, with yeah. this." But then I saw it in the corner, and then they were selling for seven hundred dollars. Really? I mean, is this real? And then I checked it out. Yeah. And they said, "No, we we're actually selling it for five hundred or something." Okay. Well, so now I figured that hey, they they really want to get rid of this piece, but I don't know why. I checked it out. It looks like it looks legit. It works. It has some some smudges here and there, but I can clean that. the The bracelet is terrible, of course. Yeah. I think Omega bracelets are terrible back in the day. My bracelet was short when I got my Omega. <laughs> that was like so flimsy, and it's really hard to resize. I'm, yeah. I'm just happy to like get rid of it, but I still have the, the original bracelet. Yeah. But then I said, like guys, I'm gonna walk away with this for three hundred. Give me this for three hundred. I know you guys need to get rid of it. Just call the manager, or whatever. I said, okay. That let me talk it out. Three fifty. We ended up with three fifty, an Omega Speedmaster Mark II for three hundred fifty dollars. I'm that's <laughs> crazy. Dude. That's crazy. And my even my wife said because at some point I wanted to sell it off because I think we we had some some difficulties uh, uh, a couple of years ago. She said, "Jason, I don't like uh, you collecting watches or like no 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 not in that same way, but." Uh, Jason, I, I have nothing, I have I don't know anything about collecting watches, but you'd be crazy to sell that for for the price that you're trying to, to sell it. I think like two thousand dollars a thing. Yeah. You're never gonna get that deal again. Yeah, it's a good deal. And I'm I'm happy that my wife is a little bit more rational than me than uh, I kept it and it's still in the collection. Still I, I would have regretted it if, oh, I, yeah. if I sold it. I have those regrets of some some pieces, you know. But you know, it's it's I, I think selling pieces and moving stuff around is part of the collecting journey. It is. It's, it, it, I don't really know too many collectors that just keep everything, you know, because eventually you're going to have a collection that's overblown. And maybe there's people that do that, but uh, and, and, and that's not the worst thing in the world. Have you seen Rick's collection? <laughs> I mean, he, 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 but he's in a downsizing stage. Yeah, now, right now, he is. Yeah, exactly. He's trying to uh, downsize a lot of pieces. But you see, part of the collection also is like where you house them. And to me, it was initially just okay, I get something, I put it in a watch box. Yeah. I, I made something out of a watch, into a watch box too. But yeah. you have a far more interesting story about your, your watch box. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, my 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 uh, watch box where I keep all the mechanicals. So I'm a, uh, a real estate appraiser. So I'll go see people's houses and stuff. And one one house I was going to, uh, there wasn't a blade of grass out of place. It was just a, a older timber, and a, a older lady. everything was so perfect and so nice. And he had this one car attached garage, and next to the garage he had. Uh, it's a little workshop, so obviously I have to see all the the property. So he, he said, oh, well, I'll, show, "I'll show you the workshop. Come on in, so show me the workshop." And it was so detailed in all these things that he made, uh, all kinds of things that he was making out of wood, out of beautiful wood. And it, even his wood shop was beautiful. It wasn't a piece of sawdust on the ground. 
And I thought to myself, this is somebody I'd like to do some business with. Mm-hmm. Right? <laughs> you could see him. Yeah. I, I asked him, have you ever made a watch box? We're just talking casually. He said, have you ever made a watch box? He says, oh, yeah, I've done those before. He showed me a picture. I said, wow, that's beautiful. And uh, he said, they actually raffled it off to raise money in my town. I said, wow, beautiful. And uh, I said, would you mind that after this whole transaction is done, that I call on you? He said, oh, no problem. Here's my card. Right? So you got to keep the... Yeah, we keep the influence on the yeah. transaction, right? So he, we finished. I finished the report. I waited two months. Everything was fine. The loan, everything went through. He's all happy. Everything's fine. And so I called him. I said, "Hey, listen, I'm going to be down in your area for uh, another job in your town. Mind if I stop by and, uh, and, and and place an order?" He said, "Absolutely, come see me. Thank you so much." Right? So we went and saw him. We discussed what we wanted to do, and I sent you the pictures of the result. It took six weeks. For him to make it, uh, but he's a real craftsman. That that the way that he he made that that watch box for you, it's like yeah. I, and I saw the picture. We're going to pop up the, the pictures also yeah. for him for the viewers to see. And it, it's like what I said when we were like first um, communicating about the the, the the shoe. It's very hard to find that kind of skill anywhere. Yeah, here in the island especially, but probably like in, in other places too. Yeah, you know, with, with I mean. Guys are, they, yeah. To me, you know, it, it, it rolls with the theme of my collecting strategy, right? I like right. I like kind of limited stuff. Of course, the Rolex is not limited, of course. But, you know, when, when, we're, when we're talking about the G-Shocks and Seiko and stuff like that, I like that I'm drawn to the more limited pieces. Well, this watch box is one of one. Yeah, one of one. Exactly. That's, that's it was done, done unique for you. It was right? done basically to my specifications with his tweaks on it, and everything was fine. You know, it's beautiful. At the end of the day, I couldn't be happier. You know, there was a little glitch at the, when I got it because the top, mm-hmm. I wanted it to be glass. It's like this Lexon material. Uh-huh. That uses. So, okay, you wanted glass. You, you, want, you want it a little bit clearer. Yeah, you know, <laughs> whole, it, it's, it's clear. You can still see it, but it's, you know, you, you hit it and it doesn't sound like this. Ah, uh-huh, yeah. yeah. I, I said, uh, I'm not going to I'm not gonna complain. The guy gave me such a good price. And uh, he, he's just, he's an old timer. You're not going to... Mm-hmm. He's a veteran. I'm not, I'm not complaining to the guy. You know, it, it was a small little thing. It doesn't mean anything. It still doesn't affect the integrity of right. the box, right? You know? And I brought. I actually was. I actually brought it to a glass shop to see if they could switch the glass on. Mm-hmm. And the they could have. craftsman looked at it, the glass company, and said, "No way. This is way beyond our scope. It was done so well. Wow. We okay. can't. We're <laughs> never changing this out." So that made me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Fine, I guess I'll accept it the way it is. You know, I don't want to complain. You know, I don't want to complain. But you know, it wasn't. Uh, it was beautiful. It's a beautiful piece, and I'll never leave my collection. My son will have it. Yeah, but but I think that's also like yeah, again, get over in, the plastic. In, keeping, in, right? keep, in <laughs> keeping with your with your theme, because you already have a Grand Seiko, uh, a couple of Grand Seikos in your collection, and yeah. that that's to me that's craft right there. Yeah. You know, yeah. Other than like uh, compared to other other brands, yeah, the artisanal. You know, artisanal, there you yeah, go. Yeah, artisanal craftsmanship. It's, yeah. it's definitely noticeable in the in the Grand Seikos, and, and then you know, and, um, you know, it's all about you know another thing that with collecting, I would think is is also true, especially with these uh, uh, Rolexes, right? Mm-hmm. Buying a watch of this type of value, I would say, really inhibits you from other purchases. And, and, and let's face it, many of us are not made of money. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, if you're on the list or whatever, and you're saving your money for that call, then what are you going to do? Yeah, if you, if you spend it's five thousand over here, and a month later she calls you for the for the next one, that kind of happens. That's your goal, right? Not everybody's goal is three yeah. Rolexes, right? Let's not, <laughs> right. But I, I, you know, when I first started this journey with her, I told her I don't care if it takes ten years. It's fine. I don't care if it takes five years. You know, I just I'll save up. I'll be ready when the time comes. You know, so I honestly think that the, the the hunt for the Rolex that you want, if you don't want to be in the great market, hinders your buying of other yeah. pieces. Right? And, I, I believe that. I I, I because I, honestly I've been in that too because the, I I got the call also. I think yeah. I, I don't know if you you saw that video. Yeah. I also got the call. Yeah. The problem with that is. Unlike you, I wasn't ready, so yeah. I didn't have the funds. Uh, ready I got lucky well. to be ready. Yeah, so, I got lucky. <laughs> so I mean, it was heartbreaking. 
for me because I really like that that, that piece. Yeah. And, and I think uh, given a different circumstance, I could have pulled it off. You know, I would I could have really tried hard to pull it off. But um, yeah, uh, reasonable hands uh, prevail, I guess. You know, but it, then it, 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 it comes with a heartache. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. You, you could argue that the beauty of Seiko Grand Seiko and some of those limited pieces helps you keep your toe into the yes. collecting pond per se, right? You, you can keep collecting. Yeah, you, you're still yeah. like in that mode of, of like developing your taste. You can still develop your collection. You could sell a piece, buy another piece. There's uh, certain things you can do, right? Like, you know, recently I got rid of a a, a, a piece, uh, an IWC that I got at a great great price on. Uh, Loop this, mm -hmm. loop this dot com, mm -hmm. and I unloaded that piece uh, because uh, another one, another tenant thing that the second floor wants a new bathroom. Okay, well I don't want to touch my bank account, so I'd rather get the money from what's sitting in my office, right? So, uh, well, that, that's a testament that the 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 watches are not the priority in in, in your life. No, they you can't. Be. There, it's a secondary thing, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you also have to think about what am I doing here? I'm just, I, I've said it a million times. I'm just moving money around, mm -hmm. and if I can unload IWPs for IWC for what I pay for or more, mm -hmm. a little why not? More to get the jump start on the bathroom, it's going to cost. I get half the money up mm -hmm. front, or whatever. Yeah. I put that money aside when the contractor's done. You go. Know, that's it. It's one watch. Yes, exactly. And this is like your your tenant here. So so yeah. you 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 could that. Basically, it's an investment for for yeah right uh, further yeah. Uh, further investment different. for the building right yeah. I mean my kids are going to inherit that building so yeah. it's not like uh, I'm not putting I'm not throwing money out the window right. right like I did at the casino the other day <laughs> <laughs> well they have a few of those here in Aruba yeah, so that's right. <laughs> you gotta like, keep your keep yourself in check with that yeah. so. <laughs> and every single hotel yeah, has discipline right yeah, yeah. and you, everybody needs more but particularly me you know. Yeah, but we, we all have our, our entertainments, you know, the yeah. different kinds of entertainments and different kinds of uh, where we find satisfaction and pleasure in. You know? And you you're here in Aruba, it's a, it's it's known as a uh pleasure island, it's known as a vacation island. Yeah. And you, you want to enjoy that as much as possible. Yeah. We're very happy that you you're here and um, yeah, I mean, of course, even the Aruban community is very happy to have you here. I mean like we all welcome like uh, tourists and, and, and visitors and yeah. It's a it's an island that's built with so many cultures uh, in mind, but it's always beautiful. have like a very nice and warm uh, social, so nice. yeah. and, and that's that's what we love. Very about. safe. You yeah. rent a car, drive around. Yeah, drive around. And you, you, uh, I, I even had a viewer asking me, "Hey, can I bring my uh, Pepsi?" With you? Of course, you could. Yeah, yeah. You could like walk around. I walk around myself. Nobody yeah. notices it. And yeah. Like nobody knows. I mean, like, yeah. and the thing is, like, even if they know, and they know that the, the the culture here is warm and and friendly and hospitable, and that's uh, basically how Aruba works. And, and the more that we, and actually, that's a part in in keeping the team of, of the channel as well. I mean, like, in the recent um, months, I kind of like put on this uh, Caribbean pirate persona thing, but <laughs> which kind of is like in theme with, with where I, I live. But at the same time, that also gives us a sort of a connection with with uh, sure. with uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with a community. We we call it watch community, but I I, feel, I see this more like a, a general community yeah. itself. You're the you're the second viewer that we actually have a chance to to meet with. Uh, uh, Detroit Spartan. Yeah, I, think yeah, you, yeah, you know, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. We never we didn't get the chance to like you know, film him. We didn't have that 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 time. And we're really happy that you're able to like spend time with us uh, this afternoon and. Thank you also for the, the generosity that you you provided. Also, the boys are like enjoying them. Come, 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 boys! Like, like, uh, get into the shot a little bit. So, this a uh, this might might be like in the in the, the the behind the scenes. So, say hello, say hello. Yeah, the, so, here are the boys. That they're still working with me sometimes. Still um, Asian. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> still Asian for for some reason. And um, Deech gave some generous gifts for the boys, and they're they're totally enjoying them and. Um, uh, it's something that uh, we can, and also you'll see in the next few few uh, videos. You're going to see those reviews, and mm -hmm. probably, hopefully, the the boys will also like uh, pitch in in that review. They're always like behind the scenes, uh, yeah, helping out, yeah. yeah, helping out. Sometimes like joking around, like touching the, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it makes my editing a little bit harder because yeah, they, yeah. Uh, they keep like popping in and out, like <laughs> yeah. Um, but Deech, thank you so much, Jeff. It's Absolutely. a, it's a, it's a awesome. Uh, awesome opportunity to meet you in, in Aruba, hopefully. Uh, well, 
hopefully to, to meet you also in your, your hometown. New Hampshire, was it? Uh, no, Massachusetts. Yes. Massachusetts. If you ever come to the U.S., look yes. me up. We'll be like, Maybe you can go to um, Watch Time New York City. Yeah, we, I, in the that's, fall. That's also... That's, if you're going to go to the States, that's, that's the how, That's how to speak, yeah. Because I'm like, New many York, of them... New York City in the fall... Everybody was less, like like telling me that. Like Random Rob was also telling me that. That's the it's place to be. Fun. If you're yeah. gonna go for a trip, that's the yeah. one to do it. Hopefully, we could time that out. Um, right, right now, there's going to be a lot of changes uh, for for me personally. I'm going to be working with watches now. Yeah, yeah. amazingly Beautiful. for for like uh, for full time now. So that's great. I'm, I may be diving into the gray market also on the side. Yeah. So we'll we'll also mention that in the channel and uh, probably we'll meet each other. Uh, Maybe if you're there, look me up. I'll look it up. I'll be there. I I have your contact. So, thank you so much. Absolutely, Um, Jeff. Thank you for uh, spending time with us. And go back to this.